Welcome to Bitfumes and we are on PayPal payment integration working on the recurring billing on or subscription model. We have created the plan in the last episode and we get this plan ID and if we can list all the plans we have, we actually have three plans, two of them I have created when I was testing. So we have this plan but the important part is how we can check all the details of a plan. So why not if you go here you can see get plan detail. So if we can say we need this code. So let's go to VS code not VS code. <laughs> let's go to PHP storm and on the plan we can see we just get the plan. So why not say uh, public function get plan list or uh, plan detail is good plan detail so that's nice and here we can just give these quotes so it's very easy actually so now we need api context then we need the plan id that's very important so what we can do we can pass the plan id here like this so somehow you need to save this in your database, these ID you need to save and then whenever you want the detail of any plan, you can just pass this. So I will say ID here and then this is done. So let's return plan from here. So I think I can change the name instead of create plan, we can just say plan so that it will be more generic because we are doing lots of things here creating plan then uh, giving the details of a plan all the plans say subscription plan hmm this is nice so this is called subscription plan and now in our subscription controller we can see we have subscription plan and yeah that's good it's refactored by the use of uh, PHP storm so now on this plan detail we have returned the plan and now let's create a route to get the plan so plan and here comes the plan ID so I will say ID simple and here the plan details is that details or some simple detail it's details there has to be details actually okay so we need to go to plan and then id so on the firefox no let's on go on the chrome uh, because here its look is good so plan and then i will hit the plan id plan id is this one so let's go and hit enter and it says plan detail does not exist okay no problem so because we are saying that plans detail on the subscription controller so on the subscription controller we need to create a public function and here is plan details and or we can simply say show plan show plan is more uh, good name so again initializing the subscription plan and then plan uh, plan details this is good and we need to pass the id so id getting from here and id is passing here and let's return this so now instead of this i will simply say web.php show plan so let's go refresh this page and now we have all the details of the plan we have given so you can see even the redirect url red cancel urls are there and the point is status is simply created so let's change the status to activated and now we need to activate the plan so yeah we can activate the plan by the use of this code so we just need to simply say these things so copy all of this till here and now go to subscription plan and I will simply create a function and that function is simple activate activate simple very nice okay so paste all these things and here you can see we need to include this file uh, this 
and yeah it says status is equal to active then doing some patches and api context is this arrow dollar this arrow and again here so yeah it is done so create plan so we need to get the plan then we can obviously uh, change its status so to get the plan we have a plan detail or we, we can simply get the plan like this so we can say created plan is equal to this arrow plan detail and we need to pass the id obviously so we need to tell which uh, which plan we need to activate so to define the plan we are giving the id we are getting the plan then we are changing its status and finally you can see the created plan update with these things and next is finally return plan let's go on subscription controller subscription controller says public function and activate plan giving the id and subscription plan and plan arrow activate with id this is good on the web.php again a new route and slash activate so plan with the id of something activate so it's like activate plan yeah like this so finally we can go on localhost 8000 slash our plan whatever it is which we can define by plan id then we can say activate so if i hit enter here you will see the status will now change from created to activate okay so it's not returning anything so why not check details by getting the details of a plan we have created and now you can see the status is now active so now our second step is also done we have activated the plan then in the next episode we will move on to the third fourth fifth and whatever it is so you know it takes lots of effort to create this kind of course so please support bitfumes and to do that you need to go on facebook twitter and instagram like this share with your other friends and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye